Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. In the last episode, we defeated Groudon and we're being thrust immediately into our next challenge. We're going to be going to the Sky Pillar and I've prepared myself. I will tell you this, this is the last dungeon of the main story, so it's not going to pull any punches. I have a few items here. I've chosen the items that I want to go on our main team. Power Band for Absol, Munch Belt for me, Mudkip being me, and Efficient Bandana for Meowth. And I wanted to try the Munch Belt because I've never tried it before and I want to see exactly how much more powerful it makes your moves. And so I've brought up a ton of apples to supplement that as well, so I think we're ready. Oh, there's a few people I haven't talked to that I want to talk to again before we go. A shooting star is on a collision course. This is indeed a desperate time. But there's nothing I can do. All our hopes ride with you. I realize that is a heavy burden to bear, but I must count on you to succeed. I thought he was rhyming for a second there. Anyway, I'll, also Metapod. I'll use Harden and wait for Mudkip's team to come back. That's nice. I, I hope you you better start stacking up those Hardens for if we fail. Mudkip, are you ready for the sky? All set. Great, looks like you're all set to roll. We leave tomorrow. Let's get plenty of rest tonight and get set for tomorrow. Tomorrow. Let's give it everything. We got Mudkip. Ugh. I feel horrible. This is a dream, isn't it? But why? Why do I feel this terrible? This is the first time. How do you like Dream Eater? Horrible, isn't it? Kike. But who would have thought you were also a human before? Didn't expect that. But who cares? Someone like that's sure to be some lowlife. Kike. I'll expose you yet. I'll expose what's in your heart with Dream Eater. Kike. Hmm? Something's coming. What? What is that light? It's coming closer? The pain. It's fading away. Gardevoir? Gardevoir, will you tell me now? Who or what am I? Yes. The time has arrived. Why have you come here? I will tell you all there is to tell. Mudkip, you have come to save this world. Come to save the world of Pokemon? I did? Yes. We learned that this world faced extinction, and so we sought a hero. But though we searched, nowhere could we find our hero. We were becoming discouraged. When we came across a human, Mudkip, you were that human. Wait a second. Hero? Me? That's too much. I'm not anything special like that. Yes, that is also what you said the first time we met. You said you were not strong. But what we sought was not power merely for display. We sought true courage. True courage? That... I'm even less confident about that. That too is what you said when we met. It was then that you said this. To see if you were worthy to be our hero or not. You asked that we put you to the test. And only if you were found to be truly worthy, then you were to be told the truth. To fulfill your role clear of heart and mind. You then chose to erase your memory as a human, and became a Pokémon of your own will to fight alongside your friends. That is how you came to be in this world. I... I did that? Your courage has been proven. Without question, you bear the role of saving the world. And that role? It is soon coming to its end. Stopping the meteor from crashing into this world? That's my role? Yes. And when that is accomplished, you can return to your human world. 
Oh. So I can go back to being a human. Wait, but that means... Yes. It means parting ways with Meowth. Meowth, I have to leave? Meowth feels great kinship with you, Mudkip. So Mudkip, if you were to leave, your friend would be heartbroken. But there can be nothing done. Because there are encounters, there are also farewells. I too once had a friend beyond value. Truly, I cherished our friendship. But my friend has gone away. It fills me with sadness still, losing my friend. But we will meet again. That is what I believe. Ah, w what was that? Who was it? Someone appears to have been looking into your dream. But it is fine now. Whoever it was ran off. All that remains in the stream is a feeling of sadness. That Pokemon. I think it ran off crying. It will be morning soon. Au revoir. Whew. That's a lot to take in. That's an important scene. Like, you may not even think about it at first, about what just happened with Gengar and Gardevoir, but if you really, like, read it, it, it starts to make sense, doesn't it? Anyway, we have a trip on, a, on our hands. Gotta get ready. Unfortunately, we're not able to do any missions right now, and we're so close to silver rank, and that would increase our toolbox size, but uh, sadly, I don't think I'll be able to do it. This is it. Let's roll, Mudkip. To the sky we go. I mean, I guess we could check and see. Sky Tower is now open for exploration. Oh, we can go and increase our level. Uh, yeah, I might just do that really quick. But it would be very anticlimactic. Let's just go. I'm prepared for it. Let's hope, go ahead and give items so I don't forget while we're going. Uh, Munch Belt for Mudkip. Plus, I don't know if Silver Rank actually increases your toolbox size, so if it didn't, that would be a big shame. And of course, the Power Band for our boy. He's, he has such a high power, like, attack stat that that's going to be useful. Munch Belt, I'm interested once again to see how powerful it makes us at the expense of our hunger. Still like to have something like Small Stomach. Ah, good of you to come. What, what's going on? What is Zatu doing? It is almost ready. The teleport gem. Teleport gem? It is made. This, this is the teleport gem. This will deliver you to the world of the sky. Now Mudkip, accept. And we got the teleport gem. That was made using the power of psychics. By me, Alakazam, and... Oh? A ghost type Pokemon, we received help from it. Gone away, it seems. Who could it be? Hmm. Haha, <laughs> much must it must be bashful. Let it be. Now, I must ask you one this one last time. This journey will be fraught with considerable danger. Will you still go? You bet we will. We need to see Rayquaza and ask it to blow up that falling star, right? That's what we if that's what's going to bring back peace. I'm not going to think twice about giving up my life. That's what I want to make happen. Yes. And when that wish comes true, Gardevoir said... Yeah, we were there. Again. This will be my last adventure. With Meowth. Mudkip, let's do this right. We're counting on you. Meowth, Mudkip.
Ouch. Where are we? Ugh, oh, Mudkip, this is cool. We're on clouds. Oh, wow. Mudkip, look up there. It's a huge tower of clouds. It must be at the very top. That must be where Rayquaza is. Mudkip, let's give it our best. And with that, we start the Sky Tower. If you thought that Magna, Magma Cavern- Oh, I have both of y'all set to attack enemies, don't I? Ooh, wrong thing. Uh, yeah, go after foes. Don't do that. Let's go together. And let's go together. All right. Now they shouldn't be walking in front of me. Uh, yeah, if you thought Magma Cavern was long. Oh boy. In fact, if you thought the final dungeon of Explorers of Sky and Darkness and Time was long. Oh boy. This is so much longer. They really made this a test of endur- Oh wow, you're fast. Did it use Shell Smash? Must have. Anyway, uh, you can see, I guess... Okay, we're throwing rocks. I don't think that you can recruit any enemies here as well. This is going to be solely an adventure for your three teammates. So prepare for that as you will. Uh, they really wanted this to be a lot harder than Magma Cavern, especially since you're doing it right afterwards. Oh yeah, wow. I'm already down. Okay, great. There we go. Jeez. Alright, uh... Do we not have any Oran Berries? Oh, we didn't bring any Oran Berries. Oops, that's my bad. Well, Meowth, I'm gonna have you do this fight for a second. I don't want to be on the head. Thunderbolt's a really great move to have in this area, by the way. So is Ice Beam, both being super effective on flying types, and as you can imagine, there's going to be quite a few here. Uh, let's, before I forget, use all of these stat-increasing items that I brought. Protein's going to go to Meowth, obviously, because I don't have that many attack stat moves. All I have is Rock Throw, which I'm still like, I'm, it's probably not going to be a permanent addition to my moveset, but it's good to have in the meantime, just for type coverage. Then Iron will also go to Meowth. Neat. Alright, let's keep moving. This is also one of the last dungeons that you're going to be able to see enemies from far away, so... Cherish that! Because you're not going to get it for much longer. I believe enemies start having like over 100 HP in this dungeon as well. Totter Orb, that's not bad. That could be useful. Uh, the... The floor layouts will actually be very punishing in this area, as you can see. There will a lot of the times be floor layouts where basically there's as many rooms as possible. Max Ether, that's not bad. Which makes finding the stairs just that much worse. Who's sleeping up here? Fortress? Let's deal with that. Magnet Rise, cool. So I can no, no longer use Mud Bomb on it, good. Luckily, water type is... Uh, water type's one of the better types to have here. If you have a grass type, again, you're kind of at a pretty big disadvantage. Simply because everything's like a, either a flying type, it has levitate. Many different things can be a hindrance. Also, not to mention, the music here is amazing. And I'm just going to have you listen to it for a second. I remember using this in my Sunshine Let's Play for the music for 
And it's weird how I specifically remember this one thing, because if you ask me anything else about my Sunshine Let's Play, which was like seven years ago, I guarantee you I don't remember a thing. But I do remember using this as the speed-up music. Please knock it out. Thank you. The speed-up music for... what's the, ho the hotel level? It's been so long since I've played Sunshine. Please acknowledge this. It seems. Oh, I seem to be doing a lot of damage, by the way. Like, the fact that I can two shot the enemies here is pretty impressive on its own, given how much of a spike in difficulty this is from the last few dungeons, I'd say. Hello! You're really fast. Yeah, this water gun, I don't think you can knock me out in one hit. Although, Psy Shock is very painful. Good lord, at least that gives me Torrent. 118. Probably one of the highest numbers we've seen for damage so far. Um, I don't like this. Back up a bit and just wait this out for a second. See if they'll kind of just wander off. Look at this. No, let's go back. I don't want to deal with that. Is Ice Beam going to hit here? Yes. And it's also going to knock it out. Great. Dark type moves. Gotta love it. That's right, I keep forgetting we have narrow focus. I guess if I keep forgetting about it, that doesn't mean it's a very good rare quality, but whatever. Floor 5, we're almost done. Also, I'm almost out of hunger. That really does drain your hunger. I gotta wonder, if I play as a different character... Oh jeez, I don't have much for you. If I play as a different character, do they still get the power boost from it? From the Munch Belt, despite hunger not going down? Because if they do... That just makes the item that much more powerful. But I don't want to waste all my apples this early. I think I want to hold on to them for a second. Yeah, keep using Ice Beam. I don't know if the efficient bandana has activated at all yet, by the way. Because I don't think I've seen it. Of course, it'd just be a little bit of a note in the... Really? Okay, see, this is where you get that punishing layout. There's no way to go upwards from there. Hate to see it. Um, it would just be a little note in the chat box, I want to call it. Although it's not quite much of a chat box. The efficient bandana activates, so there's that. Is Mudkip's hunger still going down? Even though it's not my main Pokemon? Because I, I think it's out of hunger. Or out of uh, food munchie points. Out of belly is the official term for it, I guess. Lucky we have all these ghost types here because uh, we have a lot of dark type moves to use on them. Hello, what is that? Money. I don't really much care for money. I should mention, store all your money before going here because there are no Kecleon shops here. It kind of wouldn't make sense for them to be here either. So, yeah, considering it's in Slumber Orb. Considering it's in the sky and there's only... A canonical reason for us to be here because we have the teleport gem so obviously Kecleon wouldn't be able to get here hello there I'm just gonna use fury swipes foul play and efficient bandana activated there that's nice Thunderbolt I should mention Thunderbolt also hits enemies that are in walls which can happen with ghost types they don't like they won't naturally walk into walls oddly enough I think that's a difference from the original game, actually, now that I think about it. But if they, I don't know, get persuaded into walls, whether they're, like, confused and they walk into it or something like that, that'll happen, and you can use Thunderbolt to hit them through walls. I believe any ghost-type moves hit through walls as well, although don't quote me on that one. Oh, jeez, it's going to use Ominous Wind, isn't it? Okay, not quite the scary move that I thought it was going to use, but all right. That works as well. Looks like Mudkip ran out of Ice Beams. Absol does have Squeeze Out, which will be pretty good for this long dungeon. Especially for our teammates. Hello! You love to see it. There are monster houses in this dungeon as well. Although, oddly enough, they don't spawn on the first two floors. Don't ask me why. You'll never find a monster house on floor one or two. Ooh, they're all starting to congeal in this point. Hello! Prepare to die. Almost didn't do it. Okay. All right, we're fighting. Ooh, Seal Trap. I can't use Thunderbolt for the rest of the floor. Or maybe it's only for a little bit. I don't rightly know. Hello. He'll let you get a little bit closer before I knock you out. Coughing, though. 
It's not the scariest Pokemon. Uh, it doesn't say which PP it restores from Squeeze Out, but it restored one of them, and I'm assuming it's Ice Beam because it's been using it quite liberally. Got a big apple. Actually, that's pretty good. I could use that on Mudkip and swap back for a hot second. There we go. This is not a bad floor layout. There's one floor, floor layout that's not in this remake that I kind of miss. Uh, and it would only appear in the later floors of this dungeon, where it's just a straight line of rooms. There's no, like, there's no going up or down, it's just left to right a line of rooms. And you would spawn in the middle, and had to decide which way to go. It was really cool, but I have not seen it in the remake yet, so I don't think that they kept it in. Which is a shame, because it was pretty cool. Anyway, we're doing really well for this dungeon so far. I think... Someone asked me if I was happy with the choice of Mudkip and Meowth. And gotta say, Mudkip's one of my favorite Pokemon anyway, so I love having a Mudkip. And Meowth is just, it's one of those Pokemon that you would only get the chance to play in this game, really, because Meowth is not a starter in any other Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. So I like that as well. It's like when I chose Eevee for Explorers of Sky and Darkness, just because it's kind of a unique choice. It's not just, oh... Squirtle and Charmander, you know? So I, I'm very happy with the choices that we have. Plus, normal types are pretty dang strong in this game. Gotta say, with how their multi-hit moves are powerful. Do you have a- you don't have a move that's gonna hit him from out here. I'm just gonna let Absol take this. I don't think I have anything to get rid of Burn. Now that I think about it, we need to make a beeline for the stairs at this rate. Oh darn. Someone told me, apparently, the Mind Over Matter doesn't activate unless you have an actively lowered stat. Which is absolutely insane to me. How are you going to make one of the rare qualities that underpowered? Crazy, dude. It's like, ugh. Even if they made it to where, it's when they, okay. Let me try to think about what I'm gonna say. They made certain rare qualities so powerful that even if they buffed certain ones to a major crazy degree, it wouldn't make them more powerful than, for instance, Steamroll. So I find it weird that they just didn't. Also, I forgot Fake Out doesn't go around corners because it's not a special attack. Can I, like, find the stairs, please? Jeez, even on these easy floor layouts, it's going to be the absolute last room we go to. But it's like, there's a there's a rare quality called PP Pouch that will randomly, every once in a while, increase the PP of one of your moves whenever you knock out a Pokemon. But it's not every single time you knock out a Pokemon. Yet, if they did make it every single time that you knocked out a Pokemon, it still wouldn't be better than Steamroll, so it'd be okay to have it. You know? Like, if you're gonna make one of the rare qualities super powerful, bring the other ones up kind of to its level. Obviously, all of them don't have to be crazy, stupid, powerful. Some of them can be, like, a little bit of a stinker, like Bargain and Sales Pitch, because they have their unique uses. But, like, if you're going to make some of them that are meant to be used everywhere, make them good. It's all, it also comes down to, like, Riled Up, that rare quality that increases your attack stat, f it's attack and special attack, mind you, for the whole floor. But then there's ones that when you're attacked, it only raises your defense for one turn. Why have that difference? Why did they outright make the attack stat version of it better than the defense and evasion stat version of it? I don't get it. Just do it all. I don't know. Just some minor quips with the rare quality system. I still do like it a lot better than the IQ system. What did it use? Reflect? Uh, but I'll use Thunderbolt. Cool, I'll miss with Thunderbolt rather. Look at that, you do no damage now. There's a lot of enemies over there. Um, hmm. I think I'm actually gonna swap back to... Yeah, huh, Mudkip was using Hunger even when it wasn't the main party member, that's interesting. And I'm assuming once it gets to zero Hunger, it, hunger, it doesn't get the attack stat boost. I'm gonna go ahead and eat a Big Apple in that case. Should say the Munch Belt is going to be extremely good for boss fights. Oh, hello, Altaria. Interesting. I have no PP on like anything. See how much damage Rock Throw does. 
62. Not bad. Sweet, knocked it out. Uh, I'm gonna use a max elixir or something. Maybe just a max ether for like... Uh, I'll do water gun. It's nice that water gun has so much PP. I'll wait to do ice beam if I can, just because we do have squeeze out. I could try to wait for the PP increase from that. Nullify orb, hold on. Does that nullify abilities on the floor? Nullifies the abilities of all Pokemon on the floor, okay. That could get rid of drought or something weird like that. Ooh, hello. Yeah, I'm just gonna back up, bud. Although I do get that torrent boost. It's coming in a lot more than I thought it would. Just from, you know, it's an ability that normally never activates in the main Pokemon series, so it's weird when you see it do activate here. Hello. Okay, I'm um, just gonna use Water Gun. Please step forward and don't have an attack from there. Never mind, it's not going to attack. Cool. I wanted to fight it, but I guess not. You'll just do all the damage. There's another Altaria up there. I'm always afraid that, like, this deep into the game, they're gonna keep using ability... Okay, wow. Rest in pieces. There's that meme where they carry the... the coffin and they're all dancing. That's what happened there. Ooh, I have an ice beam use. I think Fake Out should be able to clutch it up, too. Also, 94 damage? That wasn't even a critical. Insane. Might as well use Ice Beam just to get it used on Squeeze Out again. Look at that. Already got it back. Weatherlock Orb. What does that do? Does it just nullify weather effects? Locking the usual clear weather in place. Try using it when the weather turns nasty. That's actually good. You will see a, a bunch of different weather effects in this dungeon. I, I might as well just eat it for Meowth. No reason to get rid of it. Let's go! I didn't realize that my inventory was full. You hate to see it. Hello. I hate that so many Pokemon here have Levitate, because I'm not able to use my... my Rock Throw ability a lot. Or their Flying types. There's that too. Because I want to get Rock Throw up in levels a bit, because it's so inaccurate right now. And really, the only way to remedy that, that is to either use the accuracy drinks or... Hello! Good go Good gourd! Try to get an ice beam off on you. 74. Stinky. Oh, I don't have any more rocks. Oops. Yeah, so many Pokemon that use room-clearing moves. There's going to be Flygons later in this dungeon, too, and they have Earth Power. And I absolutely despise it. Ugh, you have Levitate too. Everything, like, it makes sense. Don't get me wrong. Because we're up in the sky. But still. Getting stronger. I just want to be able to use my combo ability, dude. But yeah, Rock Throw. It's like, Rock Throw doesn't have that much utility, especially when you consider that I have Ice Beam, which knocks out Flying-type Pokemon anyway. And then I have Mud Bomb for many Pokemon that would be weak to rock, like fire, ice. Well, not ice. I guess rock throw is good for ice-type Pokemon. There you have it. Or if there's specifically a flying and ice-type Pokemon that resists ice beam, could use rock throw on that, because it'd be four times effective, actually. Looking at you, Articuno. Fear me. Is that sleeping? Yeah. I'm not going to wake up a Ledian. Health Orb. Using it heals your team's bad statuses and resets their lower stats. Additionally, your team will become healthy. Now, what does that mean? Pokemon is protected from bad stats. Okay, so basically, safeguard. Okay. Now we know. It's weird the different statuses that this game has that are... Hello, Sky Attack! That brought me to one, day one HP. Yeah, Absol, you can take this. I believe Sky Attack actually pierces as well as it goes really far in a straight line. So that sucks. Very scary. Who used that? Altaria? I didn't know you had it. Oh, I'm... Oh! Hold on. Back up. Y'all take this. I'm not dying here. Why is it taking, like, no damn... Oh, y'all better knock it out right now. Oof! It seems to do specifically enough to nearly knock us out. Do I have Ice Beam? I don't. 
Sucks. Y'all have fun. Why were y'all doing so little damage? I might as well eat this. Or you know what? I should eat one of my regular apples and swap it out with it. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. And we have no orange berries. That's my... That's the biggest mistake I've ever made. Not having orange berries. Yeah, why don't you sleep, bud? Wait, is it gonna guard that? Yeah, because of safeguard. Ugh, jeez. I just really don't want it to use Silverwind, because that could knock both me and Meowth out, and that's not a good time, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, doesn't look like it's coming down here. Okay. Looks like we restored all of our zero PP moves as well, so that's okay, I guess. 18, we're getting there. We're definitely making progress. And here we have Sunny. There's set floors of this dungeon that will always be sunny, always be rainy, always be hailing. So, keep that in mind. Uh, if you have Psyduck, you don't have to worry about that at all, but... Unfortunately, we have a Mudkip. Oh, hello. Please don't... Okay, thank you. Oof, okay. Die. Please. That did enough damage. God bless. Even with the Reflect up. I really want to be careful about my movement here until we get back to full HP. Hello, you're coming this way, aren't you? Yeah, use that Thunderbolt. I think that ought to do it. Nope. It's weird being afraid of a Ledian. Not a feeling you'd feel in the mainline Pokemon games once again. That's that's one of the reasons I really do love Mystery Dungeon. Oh great, there's Hail. So we're all going to be taking damage every now and again. That's lovely. Someone... Wait. Oh, Absol found a Reviver Seed on the floor. Okay. Like this. Too bad you're not dragon flying. Wait, you are dragon flying. I'm silly. For some reason, I was thinking that it only gets dragon flying when it... Uh, when it mega evolves. But no, that's fairy... Fairy dragon? Fairy flying. I don't know. Yeah, it's dragon flying right now. Okay. Safeguard. I'm gonna use rock throw on you because it's the only thing I have. But hey, it does the job. Orb. Fossil orb. Okay, that's actually good. Surely I have something that I don't want. Nullify orb. See ya. Such a somewhat useless item. There's that hail damage. I'm so glad it doesn't tick away one at a time like Explorers of Sky. Because that was one of the most annoying parts of it. Is that a Scizor? Ugh. Disgusting. Hey, you can actually get hit with both Mud Bomb and Rock Throw, though. Uh, not that Rock Throw is ever going to hit. Here. Also, I'm seeing some rooms that I don't like on this map. Uh-oh. Hopefully we'll be able to steer clear of those, because I'm not even... I don't even want to take the chance. Not gonna lie. Ugh. It has pressure, so everything's gonna lose twice as much PP. It's a very sucky Pokemon to come across at this point. Uh, hey, Meowth, take point. Easy. Easy every time. And I think I just got Ice Beam back. Be good to know what I have. No, I got Water Gun. Okay. Stepping very carefully. Eat it. Okay. Now we can use Rock Throw with that one. It's 100% accuracy in the hallways, so that's nice at least. Fossil Orb. Again, that's a very good orb to have. I think I'll swap it with a Weather Lock. Also, hello items that I haven't been using. Life Seed. It's a permanent effect. Guess I'll give one to Meowth and one to myself, because that'll put both of our HPs higher than each other. Where'd it go? Jeez. I think, oh, hmm, who do I give the speed to? Because I want to say that's your accuracy stat. I know I said it at the beginning of the Let's Play, because I actually looked it up and studied for once. Now it's actually faster than us, which isn't a surprise, but still. Let's keep going. Hesitant to use those max elixirs, even though I brought it for a reason. Well, the one max elixir I have, I believe. I probably should use it at this point, to be honest. I'm so low on all of my PP that 
Yeah. Might be worth it. I do have two max elixirs. I think I picked one up in this dungeon. Also, another scary room that I hope we don't have to come across. Hello. Light screen. So that's physical... No, that's special moves, unfortunately. In that case, have a rock throw. Bonk. That, that is a peak bonk move, I'll tell you that much. It is, in, in the purest meaning, bonk. Because it's a rock falling from the heavens onto their head. The purest bonk in the game. Oh, that's a lot of Pokemon. I thought about unbinding, uh, unbinding rock, Mud Bomb and Rock Throw. And I probably should have done that, because Rock Throw is turning out to be a much more on its own use, to be honest. In fact, I might... Can I do that? Do I not have to use a Link Box to do that? Uh, no, I think I need to use a Link Box, unfortunately. Cool, we can avoid these monster houses every time. Eventually, there's going to probably be a monster house with the room that has the stairs, so we'll have to prepare for that. Hold on, we're going to have to get in a brawl here. Damage. 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 You love to see it. Venomoth, you're a new one. I believe you also have Silverwind and Quiver Dance, for that matter. Don't like that. Jeez. Dangerous. Fohold Orb, another one. There's a lot of those. We might end up using those on the boss room. Yes, there's a boss. Surprise, surprise. It's the final dungeon of the game. What'd you think? We're getting a ton of money. How much money have we? We've gotten 2,300 money just from this one dungeon. It's a good money grinding dungeon, I'll tell you that much. Absol restored some PP. Ugh. Let's see how many of them come after us. All of them. Good. It's just what I... Why didn't Dusclops cut that corner? I know that he can, because he's a ghost type. It's a ghost type, rather. Hey, you can get hit with both Mud Bomb and Rock Throw. And they're 100% accurate. So I'll get hit with all that. Okay, they're retreating. Good, except that's the only way to go. Meowth, what are you doing? No fight. Just to go. Uh... Hello! Don't like that. You, that's right, you're not a flying type. You're a bug poison, you silly boy. There's some uses of rock throw. Yeah, now that we're getting later in, more Pokemon are susceptible to Mud Bomb, oddly enough, despite being much higher up. Okay, everyone's just gonna mess around about in this room. Okay, that was a lot happening there, Meowth. Hello! Oh, you're paralyzed. I'm just gonna hit you point blank with all of these, I think. Got him. Cool. Wow! Yeah, we're really getting use out of it. Hey, at least they're linked. The near- Oh! Oh! Yeah, that's gonna kill me. Sure is. Good lord. Give me a chance to breathe. Die now. Also, I need to use an apple or something. Or swap off to Meowth. That's probably the better idea right now. We still have quite a bit to get. Well, that's not true. I, just, I don't want to use an apple this late into the floors. I think Mudkip only loses hunger when it uses attacks, by the way. I think that's what's been happening. I'd like to hit an attack sometime this year, thank you. Faux Seal Orb, okay. Takes a while for me to be able to see it, because I'm pretty sure... <gasps> Ew! It's the first time we've seen an Aerodactyl. Those are scary Pokemon in this game, because they get agility. And like I said, an enemy Pokemon having fast movement is... N is it's something to be feared, because you cannot run away. Oh, God. Alright, funnel in so I can Fury Swipes, y'all. Hey, that works. Okay. It works for me. And now, die! Good. Uh, I see a... Okay. I see a monster house in the distance, and again, hopefully we don't have to go there. I'd like to be able to avoid it if at all possible. Okay, it looks like it's specifically down that route. Man, this isn't looking hopeful. Oh boy. Please. Please, please. This one room is pretty much the last chance we have. 
no chance. Oh boy. I think we gotta do it. I think we're probably gonna use one of these faux seal orbs, because we do have a lot of those, and those are really good against monster houses. Come on in. Walk forward. Or just die to a mudkip, who cares? Oh great, you're gonna be attacking through the walls. Okay. Uh, Absol, actually, I want you to take this since you have the dark type moves that aren't bound to a normal type move. Okay, at least it's close to the entrance. And it's not blocked at all. Oh my god, look at how many Pokemon there are on the map. I was like, oh, that's not too bad. There's not very many. And then I look at the map. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna not mess with this. Surprisingly enough. Lethargic and unable to do anything. Hit him with it. I believe the full faux hold orb is better than the faux seal, because that's the one that makes them not... Oh, you're kidding. That's the one that makes them not able to move at all until they're attacked. This one just holds them for a little bit amount of a time. Of time. And if we had to move, like, Blizzard or something, we'd be set. But unfortunately, we have absolutely zero moves that affect the entire room. I know that Absol eventually gets Razor Wind. That's a very scary animation for... Cool, he died. <laughs> uh, that's a very scary animation for the move Gravity. That essentially just makes it to where you lose your flying type. Rain. Oh, this is the first time we've seen rain. Interesting. It's raining and humid. The power of water type attacking moves go up. The power of fire type attacking moves goes down. And the floor is also diffused. Which means that explosions will not happen. So if you use self-destruct, you just die. Or actually, I don't think it even activates, to be honest. Come on over. It's our Tropius. Tropius has always been one of my favorite Pokemon. It's a shame that it's so, like, not useful, because it has a double weakness to so many things. Another big apple. Let's just go. So that's the last floor of the first section of the dungeon. Yeah, 25, which if you were count keeping count, that's as long as... Uh, Magma Cavern was all together. So yay, we have more, and it's not just a paltry three or four floors, so get ready for it. We'll do that in the next episode. See you all then, and goodbye.